Let's start. The project name is Recycler View Checkbox. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in the UI, we have activity underscore main.xml, which is the layout of the main activity, and a row underscore item.xml file, which defines the layout of the recycler view. Let's see the UI. Here we have the recycler view. The height and width of the recycler view match the parent. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. And this is the recycler view. In the row underscore item.xml file, we have a text view and a checkbox. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the text view. And this is the checkbox. Let's see the Java code now. This is the model class, with a string variable name, and a boolean variable as the data members. This name variable will be shown in each row of the recycler view, and the boolean variable will be used to check if a checkbox is selected or not. These are the imports. This is my adapter class. These are the data members, which contain an array list of the model class type. This is the constructor. In the onCreateViewHolder function, we inflate the row underscore item.xml file, and pass the view into the ViewHolder class. In the bindViewHolder function, we fetch the data from the model class, one by one, and show it in the text view and the checkbox. In the getItemCount function, we calculate the total number of rows in the recycler view. This is the ViewHolder class. These are the data members of the class. In the constructor, we set the onClick listener of the row. So when a row of the recycler view is clicked, we show its name in a toast. When a checkbox is clicked, first we see if the checkbox is checked or unchecked, and update its status in the array list. And then we update the recycler view. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. Here we have an array list of the model class type and an array of strings, which we will use to fill the recycler view data. In the getData function, we fetch the data from the array, and put it inside the array list, as a recycler view needs the data in array list format. In the onCreate function, we have created an object of my adapter class, and pass the array list data in it, using the getData function. Then we set the layout of the recycler view as, linear. There are several types such as, linear, horizontal, staggered, etc. Then we set the item animator, and item decoration attributes of the recycler view. And finally, we set the adapter object into our recycler view. Let's run the app. As you can see, I can check or uncheck any checkbox in this recycler view. And even if I move up and down in the recycler view, the checkbox persists its state. So that's it. That's how you can implement a recycler view checkbox in Java Android. Thanks for watching.